We apologize for the interruption to this broadcast. Please stand by for a national emergency warning. We apologize for the interruption to this broadcast. Please stand by for a national emergency warning. This is an emergency advice. Information about hazardous debris striking Australia from the atmospheric breakup of the Shiangong-1 spacecraft has been received. The current threat level is emergency advice, meaning an emergency is likely. The Shiangong-1 spacecraft is currently on an uncontrolled descent through the atmosphere. Its trajectory has been calculated as highly likely to pass over mainland Australia. Due to the nature of this uncontrolled descent, the trajectory of the spacecraft may change unpredictably at any time. It is expected that the majority of the spacecraft will burn up in the atmosphere. However, it is also possible that large sections of the craft may survive an impact with locations in Australia. Should the spacecraft debris impact a populated area, considerable damage may occur. The Shiangong-1 spacecraft's trajectory is currently calculated as crossing Australia in a diagonal line from Broome to Melbourne. Persons in the path of this trajectory are advised to stay indoors and await further information. Further updates will be issued shortly. Your scheduled broadcast will now resume. We apologize for the interruption to this broadcast. Please stand by for a national emergency warning. We apologize for the interruption to this broadcast. Please stand by for a national emergency warning. This is an emergency watch and act advice. Information about hazardous debris striking Australia from the atmospheric breakup of the Shiangong-1 spacecraft has been received. The current threat level is watch and act, meaning that you should be aware that an incident is taking place, and you should seek a place of safety immediately. Seek shelter, now. Seek a place of safety, now. Seek shelter, now. Seek a place of safety, now. The Shiangong-1 spacecraft is currently on an uncontrolled descent through the atmosphere. It has begun to break up and its trajectory is rapidly altering. It is now expected to cross the Australian mainland north of Perth. The spacecraft will continue its descent and may exit Australia over Melbourne, possibly crashing in the Pacific Ocean east of Tasmania. It is still expected that the majority of the spacecraft will burn up in the atmosphere. However large sections of Shiangong-1 have been observed breaking away from the body of the spacecraft and are falling to Earth separately. This debris will present a threat should it survive the atmospheric descent. The spacecraft debris is projected as highly likely to strike the Perth metropolitan area. All persons in the Perth metropolitan area and surrounding locations from Carnarvon in the north, York to the east and Dunsborough in the south are advised as follows. Debris impact is expected to occur in the next 15 minutes. Do not go outside. Should debris fall near your location, do not go out to inspect it. There is a possibility of chemical contamination and hazardous gases being emitted, which may be fatal. Report any impacts of debris to authorities immediately. Seek shelter. Now. Seek a place of safety. Now. Seek shelter. Now. Seek a place of safety. Now. Normal programming has been suspended indefinitely. A national emergency is in progress. Stand by for a national emergency warning. Normal programming has been suspended indefinitely. A national emergency is in progress. Stand by for a national emergency warning. This is an emergency warning. The current threat level is emergency, meaning that an emergency is in progress that will affect you and you should take action now to ensure your survival. 
hazardous debris striking Australia from the atmospheric breakup of the Shiangong-1 spacecraft. Do not leave your home, shelter, or emergency centre. Do not go outside. The Shiangong-1 is on an uncontrolled descent through the atmosphere above Australia. Several large sections of the spacecraft have broken away and impacted several locations across the Perth metropolitan area. One piece of debris has struck an industrial area in Canning Vale, causing a catastrophic explosion and fire in a chemical storage and processing facility. The fire is rapidly spreading, causing heavy damage to surrounding buildings. Toxic smoke from the fire is drifting in a southerly direction over local suburbs. Residents within 10 kilometers in a southerly direction from Canning Vale are advised to evacuate now. The smoke is considered highly toxic, corrosive and likely to be fatal if ingested. Optus Stadium is being evacuated as several pieces of debris have impacted the venue, with one striking Ed Sheeran dead. Panicked patrons are reported as storming the exits to leave the building, and police are attempting to enforce an orderly evacuation. Residents in local areas are advised to avoid the stadium and stay indoors. The body of Shiangong-1 has now passed over Perth. Smaller debris pieces may continue falling for a further 20 minutes. Stay indoors and await further information. Three large sections of Shiangong-1 have been observed and continue their descent through the atmosphere. Hundreds of smaller pieces of debris have formed several debris clouds which are falling across the Australian mainland. All persons are advised not to go out and document the visual aspects of the falling phenomena. This may prove deadly due to falling debris. Stay inside. One of the large three remaining sections of Shiangong-1 has been observed breaking into several large pieces which are descending across South Australia and expected to impact across Adelaide. Impact is expected within three minutes. Persons in this area are advised to stay indoors, preferably on the ground floor or underground level of a building. Close all doors and windows. Stay away from windows. A shock wave from debris impact may blow out windows causing severe injuries. Do not go out until advised to do so. The final two large debris fragments from Shiangong-1 are on a predicted collision course with Melbourne. These two fragments have survived the atmospheric re-entry and are expected to impact. Seek shelter. Now. Seek a place of safety. Now. Seek shelter. Now. Seek a place of safety. Now. Do not go out. Impacts are expected within... Normal programming has been suspended indefinitely. A national emergency is in progress. Stand by for a national emergency warning. Normal programming has been suspended indefinitely. A national emergency is in progress. Stand by for a national emergency warning. This is an emergency warning. The current threat level is emergency, meaning that an emergency is in progress that will affect you and you should take action now to ensure your survival. The Shiangong-1 spacecraft has disintegrated in the atmosphere above Australia. Several large sections of the craft broke away and impacted with locations in Perth, Adelaide and Melbourne, causing heavy damage and severe secondary emergencies. Persons in Perth, Adelaide and Melbourne are advised to continue to stay indoors and listen for updates on the emergency. Updates will be issued via television broadcast, radio, social media and the emergency AU app. A toxic chemical plume, originating from explosions and fire caused by a section of Shiangong-1 striking a chemical processing plant in Canning Vale, is rapidly spreading across the Perth metropolitan area. All persons in the path of the plume are directed to evacuate away and to the west of the plume now. It appears that the chemicals within the plume are highly corrosive and extremely dangerous. Any persons within the plume will die within moments of exposure. The fire at the chemical processing plant has spread to local suburbs and has become a fire storm. All buildings and vegetation within a 4 km radius of the plant are on fire. This fire storm is expected to grow rapidly and may engulf large sections of the metro area within hours. All persons unaffected by the fire and plume are instructed to prepare for evacuation and be ready to leave at short notice. Several large explosions have been reported within the Perth Doxic plume. The full extent of the damage is currently unknown. 
The plume has settled into a thick fog that is accelerating northeasterly across the metro area. All communities to the east of the city are advised to evacuate now. A large section of the Shiangong-1 spacecraft has broken into several smaller objects which have impacted locations in the Adelaide CBD and inner suburbs. Fires are currently in progress in four locations. All persons within a 3km radius of the CBD are instructed to evacuate now. Proceed south and do not cross the parkland boundary surrounding inner Adelaide. Spot fires have broken out in the parkland. In Melbourne, a single large piece of debris has struck Eureka Tower. It has passed through the building's core and has emerged on the southern side. The building has been observed swaying and vibrations have been reported within the structure. Several floors of the tower have become exposed and appear to have detached from the core of the building. These floors may collapse within the structure or may fall away from the building, striking the surroundings below. Residents of the tower are currently being evacuated. Several large pieces of Shiangon 1 have struck the Altona refinery causing multiple explosions. Debris has landed on local suburbs and several fires have taken hold. Secondary explosions are currently being observed. The current fires will merge in a fire storm and spread to adjoining suburbs. All persons within 5 kilometers of the Altona refinery are advised to evacuate to a place of safety now.